All right, so let's draw out the plan stakeholder engagement process in the sixth edition PMBOK from the crowd training as part of PM City. Well, starting with the inputs, we can start with the project charter because that at the very start of the project is really indicating to us what is the point, well, who are the people involved, all the different elements that we need to know, like the stakeholders, how engaged are they going to be? What are their objectives? What do they care about? all those different pieces so the project charter is one also another input is going to be our plans so our project management plans and I like to draw it as a big file folder because our project management plan is not just one it's a collection of many different plans communications management plan and stakeholder management plan and all these other pieces that can come into play then two, as another input, are various different project documents. If you recall, in the last process we discussed about identifying stakeholders, we had a list of those stakeholders, which is our stakeholder register, and we could have even our risk register as an input, all kinds of other different documents like assumption logs and, and everything else that we are gathering and using for our project. Um, <clears throat> then we can also look at the various different agreements that we have with our various stakeholders like different business units customers as well as our suppliers and our contracts our vendors our procurement documents contractors all those different people that we are having agreements with and we are a product of our environment so that is another major input it's just sort of the culture or the way we do things around here our enterprise environmental factors and possibly we have some templates and guidelines and procedures and and things to reference so those are organizational process assets so i'm just kind of drawing uh you know binder with a bunch of templates in it all right those are briefly again the inputs to the plan stakeholder engagement now let's oops, <laughs> move on to the tools and techniques. Our tools and techniques, well, we've got to figure out a way to gather the information about our stakeholders. So however we gather it, um, whether it's you know looking around or collecting it in some way. So I'm just going to kind of draw somebody here collecting data and information uh, about things. So I'm just going to kind of briefly call this data gathering so it could be um, looking at benchmarking and asking questions and uh, assessments in any sort of way but also too we, once we gather this we got to make sense of it we gotta we gotta um, analyze it so our, I'll write that first uh, data analysis could come out in many different ways it could be uh, trying to keep digging let me see if I could draw a shovel here <laughs> um, but if we're going to keep digging until we get to the root cause, but that could be one methodology is like a root cause analysis and where we want to really dig in, like, why are they going to be engaged? How are they going to be engaged? How come? What else do we know about it? And um, anything else that might help us analyze it. Now, from that point too, we can also use this analysis and the information that we've gathered to help us um, maybe mind map or display our information in charts or, or matrices but in any case this is what we refer to as data representation you know just sort of presenting this analysis and this information that we've gathered in some sort of way that we can make sense and decisions on it which then of course we need to make a decision we need to uh, let's say you know select or pick a an engagement strategy or or a, a way to to work with um, a various different stakeholders or just decide whether or not they're going to be for our project against our project and that might require some expert judgment so i'll draw this person who just is thinking who's kind of knowing and this is our expert maybe it's based on experience maybe it's based on history maybe education but there is some expert judgment 
that allows him or her or us to be able to make those decisions. And sometimes we have to sit around the table or have conversations in the hallway or maybe make presentations and have various different meetings and discussions to help us work through all this information and make sense of it all. All right, that very quickly was the tools and techniques of the process. Now, finally, let's move on to the outputs. The output is pretty straightforward. If the whole part of this is to plan our stakeholder engagement, well, we should have a plan to do that. So I'll just try to draw a book here. And this is our plan. But what kind of plan is it? Well, it is our stakeholder engagement plan. So how do we want to go about engaging with our stakeholders? And that means throughout the project. And we want to keep this updated. This will be part of our project management plan. And we are really, that's the whole point of this, is to understand who these stakeholders are as we have identified them in the last process, but also how do we want to best interact with them? How are they going to benefit the project? How are we um, wanting to influence it in any way? How are they going to influence us? And how much do we want to keep them engaged? How little, etc. Lots of different things. But that briefly is the planned stakeholder engagement process in the sixth edition PIMPOC from the crowd training and PM City.